Welcome to Skill Header. In this video, three methods will be demonstrated to automatically capitalize the first letters of words or sentences. Visit our YouTube channel for the state-of-the-art project-based learning. Visit skillheader.com as we are in the middle of some mega innovative projects, including business accounting and employee management HR system. If you learn and enjoy from Skill Header, please hit the like and subscribe with the bell icon for the upcoming notifications. In our form, there are two text boxes, the product name and the remarks. By default, the user has to remove and retype text Use the caps lock or shift key to capitalize each word. The same is the case with capitalizing the first letter of each sentence. I am expanding the remarks text box for the paragraph to be entered. Start from the module's first function to automatically capitalize the first letter of each word, which is best for text related to names and address fields. We will use the LEN and UCASE functions to achieve our goal. Save the module. Now apply the function to the text box. Open the form in design view, select the text box, and start the on key press event coding. Let's test if the first letter of each word is auto-capitalized. That's great work. There is no need to retype now. Let's apply the same system to the remarks text box. As you can see, the first letter of each word is auto-capitalized.
Move on to the second method of capitalizing the first letter of each sentence. It is suitable for a single sentence-based data input. Do not forget to change the name of the function. To test this method, update the reference of the function from the on key press event of the remarks text box. Find the method is working. Move on to the third function so the first letter of each sentence can be auto-capitalized. It is best for paragraphs with multiple sentences. This function will find the full stop at the end of the sentence and make the first letter of the next sentence a capital. Let's test this method. Ah, uh, actually, I have not updated the function reference. That is awesome work. Hold on, what if a sentence contains a question mark at the end? Yes, we can do this by updating the function.
That's great. Include the third condition of the exclamation sign as well. We are waiting for your valuable comments. See you in the next exciting video.